Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So this is episode 44 now. Jeez, we have done a lot of systems. Yeah, this is episode 44 now. So yeah, we're coming up to that 50. So maybe we should do something special for it. Let me know um, if you've got any thoughts down below for maybe a special we could do at episode 50. But yeah, we are coming up to that. But yeah, today we've only got one system to check out um because it's from um, a user who's only posted one that i can see so this is from a uh, blood moon 41 from my discord so yeah all credit for the system goes towards him and um i actually saw a picture of one of the planets in here and it looks insane so yeah if you guys remember those lime green gas giants it's like one of those the 10,000 one we've got a planet like that in here so yeah without further ado let's get into this let's also see if we can go for 30 likes on this video guys because it helps the channel out a lot and it also means a lot as well and also a massive thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel as well as we are closing in on 4,700 subscribers now that is absolutely crazy so we are getting close to the big 5,000 so yeah pretty crazy stuff indeed but anyways let's get into this so yeah let's get into the system blood moon made it's called seller one it's or sealer one so sorry if i'm pronouncing that wrong okay so let's um search it up so C E L A. Okay, here it is here. And let's go in. So let's see what we got here. Oh, and it starts off at the planet. Look at this thing. This is crazy. This is just mad. Look at that. I mean, look at even the top of it. Just the amount of time that went into this must it must have been crazy. I think he even mentioned this took quite a while to make, but just look at all the colours in here. This is absolutely crazy. Just wow, look at that. Oh the bottom look of the bottom looks insane. Look at that. This is probably one of the coolest objects we've seen in the subscriber system in quite a while. So let's get a quick comparison. Oh, excuse me. Let's get a quick comparison of the lime green gas giant compared to this. Remember, the lime green is has to be a lime planet. So the uh, that was built to only be a lime planet. But yeah, this one's just gone all out of all the colours. So yeah, here it is. Here, rain. I think it's this one here. Um. Oh, I've got a different version of it, or a different one entirely. But yeah, I've got a lot of these crazy bandy ones. We'll compare it to uh, the 10,000 lime green as well, and the 1,000. So you can see here, a lot of these, this is like the new breed of gas giants now, where they've got these crazy bands. This one is the most mental we have. I mean, just look at this. It almost looks like pixels. That's the most crazy. So no one's gone f as far as 10,000 yet. But yeah, it looks like um, these sort of gas giants are in the 1,000 area. Like, we'll make uh, the lime green one bigger here, because this was the original one. Before nothing, no, or no planet I saw before these lime green planets had rings like this. So this lime green one was the very first of its kind, from what I know. So yeah, but it's pretty cool now that it's a whole new breed of them. It's pretty cool to see a complete breed of these rainbow objects here. So yeah, I, I don't know if the same guy made this one. I think this is from someone else. I can't remember who it was though, but I know I saw it in the chat and I picked it up while it was there. But yeah, it's just a whole breed of new gas giants. But anyways, enough of me blabbing on. Let's get actually into the system. So we'll return to that in a minute. So obviously we've got a start. Oh, it's actually in a binary orbit with the star as well. Okay, so the star is called Salsar. So let's um, see here. So 1.24 masses of the sun, as we can see. So I'm about the same size as the sun. And it's two times brighter at two luminosity there. 2.23 luminosity. Okay, so there is it there. All right, so the first planet, where are we today? So let's put labels on. Okay, so we've got Jupiter custom colors here. Ooh, a blue Jupiter. Wow, look at this. Ooh. Maybe we can make a custom Neptune with a dark spot by doing this. This is quite cool. I want to see this. Is this simulation going to run? Okay, it does run. Okay, cool. Jupiter, that's quite cool, actually. A completely, a blue Jupiter. That's, I like that. That's really cool. So we've got a blue Jupiter. Is there a red spot? Actually, yeah. If we just call it Jupiter, will the spot appear? Because it has to be called Jupiter for the spot to appear. So will it appear now? Red spot, anyone? No? Ah, no red spot. That kind of sucks. Yeah, because remember, if you want to keep the red spot, the planet has to be named Jupiter. But it's still very, very cool. I really like that blue there. Yeah, that is a pretty cool... We need to somehow get the spot on an object that isn't called Jupiter. I don't know if that's possible with the modern, but... Be pretty cool if someone can work out how to put the red or the red spot on Neptune and then paint it in a different color. That'd be quite cool. Okay, next up we've got this object here. So 2018 ECX8. This looks modded. Yeah, I like that green band there. That's pretty cool. So it's like it's like pale pastel colors. This thing's going for. It's like a. It almost reminds me of a rainbow, a rainbow pale color. You can sort of see. Starts off with like an orangey red. It goes to more of a yellow cream color. Then it goes green. Then it goes to like a goes straight to purple almost or like the lavender purple there but yeah it definitely reminds me of like a pale rainbow that's quite cool actually i like that 
Anyways, let's continue here. So that's a little larger than Uranus and Neptune size by about 10,000. Okay, next up we've got WTF is this. Uh, whoa, look at this thing. Jesus, he is definitely... Wow. This is definitely unique. And we've got a lot of unique objects. Like, we've obviously got the rainbow ones. And then obviously we have got my uh, crazy object, which um, some dumb gamer made. The what even is this object? So we're getting a very big amount of strange glitched objects now. Like, look at this. That's glitched, obviously... This thing, can you tell us how you made this blood moon? I mean, it looks pretty cool, but how do you make that? That's that's quite cool. So, um, yeah, that's um, flashlight. Is it just all blue? Is this like a really, really thick Venus atmosphere or something? Is this an atmosphere? Oh, it is. Okay, so he must have gone crazy with the atmosphere controls to make this because it's not the surface of the planet. It's just normal underneath. It's just that. That is, that's a, I think that's a Venus cloud, but made really, really bright. I mean, it looks really cool. Don't get me wrong. That is just an, it's an all cyan planet. Really, really cool. I like that. Let us know how you made that if you know. Um, oh, look at this thing. x -Vir here. Wow. So it's green underneath. It looks like he's dyed. Is this dyed green? Yeah, he has. So he's um, changed the color of, or he's tinted it green and then he's given it a purple atmosphere. Now that is a beauty. Look at that. That that is a really, really nice mix of per or magenta. It's actually more of a magenta colour there. Magenta and green. That is a very, very cool looking object indeed. Look at that. So it looks like this whole system is modded, which is really, really cool. Okay, next up we've got a blue moon. Okay, so another moon variation. So obviously you guys know um I have a red moon. So we've got the blood moon here. Do I still have it? I oh, don't know. It was called it's called Blood Moon, isn't it? So blood. There it is. So, Blood Moon. That's the Red Moon. So, we've got a Blue Moon now. And, obviously, we have the Regular Moon. So, yeah, getting some new Moon variations. That's quite cool. So, there is the Blue Moon. Okay. So, where are we heading next? Next up, we've got Ping Ling's Planet. Okay. Let's check this out. Okay. It is here. It looks like a Saturn. Oh, whoa. Ooh, this is quite interesting. Look at that. So, it's like a dark olive. Like a... I wouldn't need to say that's an olive. Like a dark military green with this white band here this white stripe and it's got more of like a yellow stripe up here it almost reminds me of like the northern lights or something like that that's what that's the sort of impression i'm getting from this and the white on the top looks pretty cool as well so there it is there very interesting color choices i'll say with that uh, and then we've got proxy here so this is a green object as well with the green atmosphere so it's gone realistic again so here is proxy so i'm guessing this is a quite good for stats wise 95 on similarity 23 on life not bad so there it is there proxy and then, um, Color Med. Okay, we've got this one here. And actually, going back to the uh, similarity stat, three people now have managed to get 100% on both stats. So they've got a, a special uh, rank on the Discord server. Now, make sure you join it if you haven't as well. But yeah, the Discord um, server, yeah, there's a special rank for those guys. They are the first three people to um, get that um, get those stats. So yeah, that rank is exclusive to them. I'm not going to give that rank out because they're the first. Top, they're the top three people and the first three to get it, so they get that rank forever. So yeah, they got they got 100 on both stats there, which is absolutely crazy. But I think their planets were based off Earths originally because I have seen a climate mode on some of them. I think so. I think they may have been based off Earths or something. I don't know. Or maybe they added the climate mode because I know they mod, but. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know, guys. Did you? Uh, is it based off an Earth originally? Your hundred percent planets, or is it like a whole new planet? You like? Is it a planet you just spawned in from the menu here? Like, is it just a? Oh, I don't want to place Bumblebee down, but yeah, is it just a random object like this, and then you turned it into a hundred percent, or did you base it off something? Like, is it just a random generated thing like this, or did you build it off something? Yeah, let me know. How do you get those hundred numbers? Because I don't think you, I don't think you guys told me how you did it, but. Um, yeah, there is um, this planet away. So, yeah, this one's looking quite cool with the white atmosphere. I think that's a Venus. Yeah, that is a Venus texture below. So, this is like a colonized Venus, which is pretty sweet. Um, this one's here. 97 on similarity and then 38 on likelihood. Very, very nice. Okay. So, yeah, we've done all of those. Okay, next up, we've got planet um, 40. XXXX. That'd be planet 40. So, um, here we go. So, this one looks the least modded out of the ones. Is this a random spawn? I'm willing to say that's a random spawn, because that does look like ones I've got before, but I could be wrong. Okay, um, then we've got this first one here, Old, Old Tula. Old Tula. Okay, Tula, okay. Uh, and then we've got Asia over here. So there it is there. Quite small in radius. You can see these guys are not very big. Uh, next up, we've got Sitaskania. We've got this one here. For also very small in size. And then we've got Uterod over here. So there it is there. Oh, very, very small moons as well. 
How big is this gas giant? Okay, 50,000. That's only a little smaller than Saturn. Okay. All right, next up, we've got 18 Tesla. Okay. Or te Teller, sorry. I shouldn't say te Yeah, 18 Teller. So there we go there. So we've got a very nice mix of colors. Like we've got like a brown, blue. Goes to like the uh, lavender color. A pale green. Then we've got brown. And then the north, it looks like it goes white again. So... Yeah, I think that is that a random spawn because I know you can get random arrows like that, but I, I'm willing to bet that maybe modded a bit due to the colors because that's quite a lot of colors for a random spawn. Okay, and then next up we got 18 um, Teller, which is the uh, probably the star of the show for this um, system. Like, look at this thing. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, so 18 Teller here. Let's click play as well so you can really see it in action here. So it is, and you can see the cloud. Like now you can actually see the clouds in action. Look, the clouds are all moving. It's really cool when they're different color because obviously with normal color gas giants, you can't see the clouds moving as well because it's all the same color. But here, where the clouds are all different, you can really see the clouds moving. Like you can see the cyan and the red clouds. You can see up here we've got like the yellow and the red. Or more, it's more of a lime green, but yeah, you can see what I mean. So you see all those clouds are moving. Really, really cool indeed. There's probably more going on around up here. Like we can actually get really close to this guy. Like you can, you can see those clouds are moving. Like look at that. That is so cool. Yes, yeah, so all those little effects you miss in gas giants, but when they when you mod them like this, you can really really see the clouds move. Like you can see here as well, those clouds are moving. It's so cool. Um, the gas giants have like animated textures like this. It's just you don't notice them much, but yeah, this is really really cool. And this got to say, this is probably one of the top modded objects we have seen in a long time. Like this is really cool. Like this is definitely up in the top with like the uh, obviously the lime green objects here. These guys are definitely some of the, the coolest ones we have. And also um, that other rainbow one we had, the rainbow glitch. Yeah, that's a very cool object as well. But yeah, it's definitely part of the new sort of breed of modded gas giants with the insane colors and band count like these guys so yeah really really cool indeed but yeah there we go so i think that is it for this system i really like that that gas giant there. that is really cool i think i'll go ahead and throw a save in that is a nice one to add to the collection there but um yeah we go i think that is everything so yeah 18 um teller there very very nice object indeed so let's get a lineup of all the objects in here so here we go so this object's actually the biggest pingling is the biggest out of all these how big is this guy Four hundred thousand. Wow, that's that's pretty big. Let's get a comparison with the largest exoplanet quickly, actually. So uh, yeah, HD one hundred. Okay, where are you at? Come on, HD. You gonna come out? There he is. I right, said so HD. No, I don't want. No, no, no. Delete. Keep. Keep. I don't want to delete it. So uh, let's get a comparison. How big is it to the largest? I think it's bigger. Yeah, it is slightly bigger than the largest exoplanet. So, yeah, this planet is a. Very, very rare kind to find a planet that big. But anyways, yeah, there's a liner for the whole system. So, yeah, let us know, guys. What do you think down below in the comments about this system? I think there's some really cool objects in here. Obviously, the blue Jupiter is really cool. The blue moon. Obviously, that crazy, crazy object here. The highly reflective Venus atmosphere. Look at this thing. Like, that is absolutely crazy. And obviously, this one as well. X, you know, x -vir. This one here. This is cool. With the dyed surface. With the green... But yeah, the green surface and the magenta atmosphere. That is a really, really cool object. And also the, uh, the Venus here. This is a Venus as well. Like, we can remove the water. That's Venus. Oh, no. No, it's not. No, that's Ganymede. No, look at that. I thought that was Venus. No, that is a Ganymede texture. Look, if we... Uh... It's a blue... Yeah, it's like a, a, a cyan, turquoise, blue uh, Ganymede. I didn't even realise. Yeah, that, that's actually a Ganymede, not a Venus. Oh, okay. So, let's see. So, if I add water to it... It looks like it's land works the same as Venus, which is quite interesting. Ah, no, no, it's definitely different to the way Venus works. It look, that does look similar to Venus, I have to say. Like, that bit there, that really does look like Venus, I have to say. But, yeah, you had me fooled there, definitely. But, yeah, overall, really, really cool system. I know it's a little short, guys, but really, really cool, I have to say. And there's only one system to check today, but... Yeah, definitely a thumbs up to Blood Moon for making this. And if you want to make yourself be known in the comments, Blood Moon, I don't have a link to your YouTube channel, I don't think. So yeah, let, let yourself be known in the comments, because um, obviously you made this. And yeah, all credit goes to um, Blood Moon for making this, guys. But yeah, there we go. So like I said, let us know. What do you think down below about this system? I think this is really cool. And especially that those two crazy modded objects, the, obviously the rainbow one and then the uh, WTF one. Yeah, they, they are definitely the two highlights of this system for me. Yeah, but yeah, there we go. So that is everything, guys. So make sure if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and tap the bell icon to get notifications when video comes out. But yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.